In here, it's black and white. There's no gray area. You with me? That's it. You, you're not with me, you're against me. There's no in-between. There's no in-between. And you cannot be one leg here and one leg there. Because eventually Hashem has to decide where to send you. If you're going to be one leg here and one leg over there, what, how would Hashem judge you? He won't know what to do with you. On one hand, you do a lot of good things. On the other hand, that's why before Mashiach came, Hashem said all the middle have to be screened to a side. To positive or to negative. That's what the Gemara says. En ben David ba, ela bedor shekulo chayav o bedor shekulo zaka. In a generation that the entire generation is guilty or the entire generation is righteous. It can never be such thing. The answer, no, we're not talking about the whole world. We're talking the entire human being. You either be righteous or you'll be wicked. You're not going to be 50-50. Why? When Mashiach come, when the final salvation would be, all the resurrection of the dead, all the holy people will come back to life. If you be 50% wicked, you cannot be there. That's why you have a great period. This 50 has to be either 100 to the positive or 100 to the negative. No more half and half. No more traditional. No more modern orthodox. Keeping Shabbat and Motzei Shabbat go to a dirty movie on a theater when everyone is naked and cares over there. You cannot be half and half. You're not going to be five hours in my synagogue and then five hours in a place where all the people that I don't want to say what they are, where they go, and you're going to stand with them and drink in a bar and scream, and you think, okay, half an hour I'm here, half an hour I'm there. It's not going to work. You have to make a decision. You are religious, you follow my rules, fine. You don't, you that's it. You vote it on yourself. But you cannot say, I was half religious. There's no such thing. There's no such thing half religious. These half religious who eventually will be either zero religious or 100% religious. And that's what people have to understand in these days. We are now in a time of Acharit Ayamim. All this lifestyle of modern lifestyle. Everything is hafif, half, half. No big deal, Rabbi. We're not so fanatic here. Over here it's okay. Over here it's okay. Boys and girls together, it's okay. The skirt can be above the knees. It's okay as long as it's a skirt. No, no, no. You either follow my rules or you're not. There's no in between. You don't fool yourself. You want to be modest? You have to be modest. You want to be half modest? You are nothing. You're not modest. There's a red line. Your skirt will be above the knees. I don't care it's a skirt. It's worse than a pants. Why? Pants is not as bad as skirt that is above the knee. Women don't understand it. Ask a man in a survey. Go, go to the goyim on the street. Tell them, when do you look at the woman more in a dirty way? When she wears pants or when she wears skirt that is above the knees? And see what the goyim would answer you. These modern women that think they are mothers, they live in illusion. Short sleeves, everything open, everything attached. What is this? That's not, that's not modesty. That's the today's 21st century from Paris. It's nothing to do with modesty. Modesty means that when you walk on the street, nobody looks at you because of the provocative way you look. If you can say, I walk in the street for 10 years and not one time I was provocative, then you're modest. Every other way, tight, short, these tons of makeup, half a bottle of perfume, high heels like this, that's not modesty. That's a lie, you live in a lie. You want to be modest? You have to be modest. Modest means Shomer Negia. You go on a date, you don't touch the hand of the man, even if it's the 10th day. You don't let him touch you. You don't let him, you let him kiss you for goodbye. You're not his wife yet. When you be his wife, he can kiss you and more. Right now, you're not his wife. He doesn't have permission to touch you. You want to get a good guy, you have to write. And you should have profile. I'm Shomer Negia. No one can touch me. I'm not a product. I go, I want a righteous man. I want this man that when finally he comes on a date with me, he will respect me. He doesn't come on a date with me, maybe I'll be his wife, and in the meantime, let's have fun. It doesn't work this way. The Torah is very strict. You're not going to follow my strict laws of modesty. I'm not going to be in your life. It's a clear verse. It must be holy, because I'm holy. All the tragedies came because of women and men. 
Bilam wanted to curse the Jews, Hashem didn't give him permission. In the end, he did something worse. He told Balak, put prostitute on the streets. Soon as the Goyot started to walk on the streets, thousands of Jews died from going to the ladies. Not to talk about Manhattan and the bars. Shomer Shabbat, where are you? Motzei Shabbat, what's this noise? Came to the club with friends. Don't worry, Rabbi, I'm still religious. Religious. 5,000 Christians naked around him, dance with them, takes drugs, and he calls himself religious. You understand? Uh, my rabbi say it's okay. It's light drugs, rabbi, don't worry. Light drugs. All, all light drugs eventually become heroin. <laughs> it starts with light drugs. And then what happens? It peels and this until it gets to needles. All the junkies, they eventually started with light drugs. They didn't go right away to needles. Thousands of Jewish children are dying every year from this. Why? Because it's okay, light drugs, it's okay. No, it's not okay. You must go to rehab, you lock yourself in until you get out of it. And finally, on the second time, you learn the lesson. And stay away from all these bad friends who got you into it. You understand? There's so much to correct. Sometimes it's very depressing. When you see the situation of the youth today. Everywhere you go, I've been in Europe and Canada, all other countries, South America, going to Israel same problems. You look at the kids and you wonder to yourself, these kids one day are going to be judges in courts, doctors, lawyers. How can we rely on them? Look at the way they behave. Look how they talk. Look what they like. This kid in five years from now can be a judge. He's 22, 25, whatever. He can be a young judge one day. He's going to decide life and death. When he takes cocaine, when he does things and he drives like crazy, when he, does, he doesn't wake up in the morning, he has no disciplines in his life because he read few books and he knows and he passed the test, eventually be a judge if your father has connection. You get scared. These people would, would, would be the general of the Israeli army. These people would have nuclear weapon in their hand, these kids. When they grew up with, with, uh, with cream in their mouths. But they did nothing in their life besides their parents. Everything they have, their parents did for them. One day he's going to be a general in the American army. He has to make a decision if to shoot a bomb and kill a hundred million people or not. He's going to make this decision. Baruch Hashem, we have Hashem. If we didn't have Hashem, who knows what would happen in this world. This is, this is reality. I know the reality is very painful. I agree. I don't try to make it make sense. Very, very disturbing. But at least let's save our soul. The Gemara say heaven is very small. Gehenom is huge. Heaven is very small. Only few people make it there. You cannot be half enough and expect to make it with Avraham Avinu and Rabbi Akiva. In your dreams, maybe yes. In a dream, you can dream that you're sitting next to Rabbi uh, Baba Sali and Ben Ishchai and Rabbi Yashiv Zatzal and all the Yeah, maybe in your dream. But in reality, you come in front of Hashem and He begins to analyze your life. What time you wake up in the morning? How do you speak? What, how do you make bracha? What time you say Kriyat Shema? How do you pray? How do you put filin? How do you conduct your business? How do you dress? How much emunah you have in Hashem? How do you keep Shabbat? How do you prepare for Shabbat? What do you speak on Shabbat? How much Torah you learn? Ah, psh, wow, oh, everything fell, 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 fell. He thinks he's a rabbi. Fail, fail, for enough, enough, give me one V. No V. Not even one, nothing. Modesty at least. What modesty? Hundred friends on their Facebook page all day. Hi, honey. How are you, sweetie? Modest. Modest. How many of the boys, they go after certain girls, and then you tell them, let me ask you a question. <laughs> A question, you want your sister to be also like this girl? Oh, God forbid, I'll kill her. So why by her it's fine? I mean, if it's your sister, you'll kill her. Why? Right? You know the truth. You live like with your instinct. It's all a lie. I say, if you call yourself religious, try to really be religious. It's about enough, enough living in an illusion. Enough. Enough.